and I rewatched the Tyson fight again, and early on, you came out with more passion than I had seen. Did something change in you when you fought Tyson early that, that brought a little more passion than you were used to into the you're, ring? You're talking about the, the first rounds? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it was funny because, um, you know, Tyson's been out of the scene for a while, yeah. and he's coming back, and everybody's saying he's the best, he's the best, and I'm like, I'm the, I'm the champion. I've been the champion for how many years? Why are you saying this? So mentally, I said to myself, I'm going to go out and show him that, you know, I'm the king of the ring. And at that time, he was coming at me, showing me the same thing. So I was like, wait, I'm, I'm a five-dimensional fighter. So why am I being one-dimensional right now? So then I kind of gave and I realized, whoa, all I need to do is box. Go out there and box and do what I do normally. You know, let him come because when he comes, I'll just squash him again and, and push him backwards. So that's that, you know, when I look back at that fight, I was like, ah, oh, man, I'm upset that I actually came out that way. But, you know, maybe I needed to come out that way to show him that, yo, he's coming, he's coming as a force. He's going to come up against a force bigger than him. The, I'm the kind of guy when I watch a fight, the hype to me is as interesting as the fight. And at, at the announcement, when, when you guys are looking at each other and Tyson then just walks right over, I've always wanted to ask you what really kind of happened there. Like, was there a plan in place and then some guy just takes a swing? And it was cut off by the ring. Like, I, I know, by you're talking about the press conference before our fight where they announced me and they announced him. Um, you know, he came walking over to me and I kind of found it strange. We actually felt something was going to happen at that time. And we told HBO, you know, there should be more security there. They said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, this is what happened. So he walked over to me. My security stopped him. He took a swipe at my security. So to me, that's like waging war. So, um, you know, we got into a tussle. All of a sudden, everybody was in there. Um, I felt some pain on my leg. And uh, I looked down and Mike Tyson was biting my leg. And I was like, yo, he's biting my leg. And then my uh, security gave him a couple of elbows to, for him to let go. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. This Mike is Tyson a, is this biting is amazing. my leg. Keep going. Yeah. Keep going. That's very unlike Mike to bite something, <laughs> nah. by the way. No, no. Hey, listen. Very the, unlike him. His, uh, his lawyer said, how did you know it was Mike? I said, well, when Mike Tyson's looking up you like this <laughs> and he's got your, your leg in his mouth, you know, you can tell it's him. <laughs> So, <laughs> no, um, that, was, uh, that was difficult to understand at that point. You know, this is a man that uh, definitely wanted to get him in the ring. And, um, you know, at a press conference, he resorted to biting me on the leg. Uh, I had to think, I was actually in shock because that was the first time I've ever gotten bitten by a human. And uh, um, I felt it was, uh, you know, strange because we're gladiators and, uh, you know, we don't bite, we fight. Right. You know, so, you know, I don't mind getting punched or getting elbowed or getting kicked, but, you know, to get bitten was um, wild for me. It was like, wow, I got bit. And, and then I looked around the bite mark. There was like a green line around it. And obviously after that, I did get a techno shot and all that. <laughs> you had to get, sorry, you had to get a techno shot after you got bit get, by Mike Tyson. I had wow. to get it, yep. He's done it before. Let me ask you this. We've talked to Mike Tyson a couple times in the last year or two. And I gotta ask you your reaction to the new lovable Mike Tyson that exists in movies and comedy shows. I think it's great. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, you know, he's, uh, you know, you have to grow. You have to grow up. You know, you can't be a bad man all the time because you get in trouble. So right. you have to learn. So I think that, uh, you know, he's got some good people around him. He's married, got a beautiful wife, and she's great. And, you know, they're doing well together. You know, I've seen a cartoon that he's putting out. Uh, uh, didn't let my kids watch it, by the way. <laughs> no, I thought that was good uh, that he's doing. You know, doing a lot of talk shows. And, he, you know, he's just like a rapper to me. You know, rappers rap about their life and they get paid for it. You know, he can talk about his life and he's getting paid for it. People right. love to hear what his stories are and his history and what he's been through. But this is a dude that once said, I'll eat your children. He, he you know, how many He said, that? I remember, yeah. I was just watching it. Lennox, I want to eat your children. Right, there he is. Yeah. That's when he said it too. Yeah. <laughs> And so, what's your reaction to see that guy now being that lovable guy? It's, it's it, you, like, is it? Let me tell you, I, I think it's great. And you knew him when he was young, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think he's great in movies. You know, I was, I was happy seeing him in uh, Hangover, and, right, yeah. and just how he played the role, it was great.